One of the most overlooked concepts in Madden is the way that seam streaks and wheels can piece together to make one of the most dominant seam reads in the game. And when you pair that with a levels concept, it's going to make this absolutely unstoppable. Now, this is a concept out of the tight offset tight end formation. You can cross apply this same concept uh, to other formations such as trip tight end, doubles, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but this is more of a, a levels concept with a seam read attached to it. And we're gonna show you something really cool that you can do uh, on the side. Lines. Now, if you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link's in the description down below. We're going to be updating uh, our Saints stuff over the course of the next couple of weeks. Uh, but make sure that you're in the Patreon. We've been dropping a lot of good stuff over there this week. Uh, but anyways, PA shot seems... And uh, again, it's 10 bucks to get on the Patreon, so you should be in there. All right, so how do we want to run this concept? Well, it's actually fairly simple. Um, uh, what we're going to want to do here with this play is we are going to want to run this with our running back to the uh, right side of the screen. We want our running back to the short side of the field, ideally. And then the setup's fairly simple. We're going to put our slot receiver uh, Carmichael, we're going to put him on a post, and then we are going to put Christian Watson on a slant and motion him outside and snap just before he sets. Now, if you look to the right side, you're going to see one of the things and one of the real reasons why this play is super, super glitchy. Against off-man coverage, which a lot of people are playing off-man coverage right now, they're gonna, they can be playing it in a lot of variety of ways. What will happen is because of the way that this route works, I don't know exactly why it has to do with the movement in this game. But because of the movement in this game, the locomotion, he will basically a lot of times be a high ball and free form up and over the top. And if they don't have deep route knockout on that outside cornerback and they're trying to defend him in man, that's going to be a pretty big play um, over the top consistently. So you have that route. Now, how do they counter that route? Well, one of the things that they can easily do to counter that, a couple things, they can put a safety over the top to try to help. Um, another thing that they can do to counter that is they can just press, right? They can just play press man coverage. Um, and what you'll see here, he can still get over the top, but it's nowhere near as effective, okay? Uh, and again, if they put a safety over top over there, that's going to be fine. And then the really, though, the main way that most people will try to stop this is they will go to some version of this coverage right here where they're basically just going to put an outside third over on the right side. And that's exactly what we want them to do um, because what you'll see right here is this can sometimes be a bomb over the top against that outside third. Again, if they have a KO, then they have a KO. But that leads me to my next point. And let's talk about this against zone. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me show you the other side uh, real quick of the route of the route combo. So the other side of the route combo specifically is going to be very effective against man and zone. Uh, but basically what's gonna happen is your first read on this play is really gonna try to peak uh, this post, see if you can throw that in the seam or if you can throw that when it crosses the field. Most of the time what people are going to do just from personal experience, uh, this is what I would do, is they are going to stand in the middle of the field and they're gonna make you throw uh, something other than the post, right? The post is almost like a bait route. And so what'll happen is this route to Christian Watson, you're just gonna throw that with a pass lead down and inside. And as you can see, this is kind of resembling the route that Peyton Manning would throw to Marvin Harrison over and over and over again. That little baby in route, five, 10 yards, super easy, uh, super free to a degree. And so they're gonna start to play zones. They're gonna start to have vert hooks on the field. They're gonna drop zones. Now everybody knows that dollar is obviously the meta for a lot of different reasons. Um, but dollar, what you'll typically see is baseline press dollar or something like this. And then from there, um, you know, they gotta, they gotta respect the fact that Carmichael is one of the best and most dangerous players on the field. So one of the things they might do to, to respect that um, is they might take, let's say, this guy and put him in man coverage on Carmichael, and then they might roll this guy to the third, and then now they're in the middle of the field, right? Pretty standard drop eight coverage out of cover two. Uh, but what's gonna happen with the way we've set this play up is now your seam reads are gonna be super open. So what you'll see here on the right, you're gonna freeform that outside away from that KO and that that route right there really takes this play to the next level, it takes this offense as a whole uh, to the next level because now they have to start to adapt to that, what we just did. And so they're gonna to go to something like a cover three, uh, for example, uh, and again, if this was dollar, uh, it would look something like this. So they have a third there, they have a middle third here. This guy's probably gonna be uh, manned up 
on the outside player. This guy is in a quarter or a third to take away that seam streak. And they might even have that bracketed, right, uh, with this player. So this is a very standard way that someone would defend you out of dollar, right? Well, now what we're able to do with this, because we're attacking the seams so well with the play, now we've got a couple different options. The first thing that we can look at is this tight end right off the snap high ball. And you can see that you can kind of um, fit that into a soft spot against the zone defense, as you can see right there. So we have that opportunity available to us. The next thing that we can do though, um, and again, some of it depends on like where their nickel corner is, if they're in dollar, if they're in three, three cub, all those things matter. Um, you know, but typically you're going to get something like this coverage right here. And, and most of the time that linebacker is going to the flat because he's scared of a running back quick throw. If they are sending five, um, you're going to be able to attack the flats on the right side. They're going to have to use her that. And so, you know, again, they're going to be stuck in no man's land in the middle of the field, basically. And if you look to the, if you look to the, um, the, the backside of this, even if they cross man, right, even if they have a cross man over there, this guy's got to work up into the seam area over here on the right. He's got to kind of work up and take the tight end snap throw away. And so the beauty of this in terms of how we've structured the play is now, number one, you've got that seam read to the left, but then number two, you have that check down again, right there, wide open if their user is on the right side of the field. And so it really does allow you to attack the middle of the field, the seam area of the field. And then if they're starting to fall asleep at the wheel, and they give you any kind of cover too, you should have a big play over the top. This tight end streak is one of the most underrated routes, I think, in the formation. And again, with a good free form, it can really take this offense to the next level. Thank you for watching the video. If you want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, head down to the description and go click the link down below. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. So go check out the Patreon down below.